61424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2. And this is going to be the first episode of an Xfinity Series season that we are going to be doing with Ty Majeski, driver of the number 60, not iRacing Ford. At least in this game. He doesn't have an iRacing Ford in this game. And I doubt that he ever will, considering the fact that iRacing wouldn't want to put their sponsor in this darn game. <laughs> we just finished the uh, Truck Series season. Um, championship or whatever you want to call it, and we finished in second to Christopher Bell. We finished in third place at Homestead, and he won after passing Ryan Truex. We probably could have won the championship if it were not for pit stops happening and me losing 19 spots because that stupidity is back, and uh, I'm still butthurt about it. I'm butthurt. My throat hurts, too, because I'm sick. Also, probably because my intros have been so freaking ridiculous. So we'll go to championship, full season, NASCAR Xfinity Series. Um, yeah, that stuff, and there you have it. Ty Majeski from Seymour, Wisconsin. I think that's Wisconsin. I can't imagine what other place it would be. I I'm smart. I graduated high school. It's Wisconsin. I I'm positive. Green Bay is amazing. Green Bay. I like Green Day, too, by the way. I don't know what I'm talking about, but the first race of the season is Daytona International Speedway for the Power Shares 300. At Daytona, it has the it written at the bottom, but... Yeah, whatever. Here are the championship mode settings. It's going to be like this throughout the entire season. Custom AI difficulty of 105. Uh, race length is 13%, like it will always be. Tower and fuel consumption is four times. Strict caution flags, three race stages, quick qualify and race. Full damage, no stability help, no custom setups, and um, I don't even bother using manual transmission. Maybe I should consider doing that for the road courses to make them more fun to do. I don't know. I mean, it, it, they are road courses. We have, like, three road courses in this season. We've got Mid-Ohio, um, Road America, and Watkins Glen. And I don't think there are any other ones. So, just press accept. And let's get into it. Daytona. One thing that disappoints me um, about the drivers that I keep choosing for these championship modes in this game is that they don't have any paint schemes. I think Mike Snyder had like a, a DLC paint scheme at one point, and I didn't find it. Or maybe that was just some NASCAR next driver. And then you've got Ty Majeski. He doesn't have any right now. And I should not have to pay any more money because I've already bought in the game. I mean, if you're going to put in some freaking microtransaction nonsense, then feel free to share how stupid EA Sports is with everybody. I mean, it's getting old, but... Um, qualifying is not going to work, so we're just going to start in last place. Qualifying does not work at super speedways. I already know that, so we're just going to skip that. And, uh, yeah, it's a day race. Day racing at Daytona. Last time it was a night race for the truck series, so this is going to be nice. From the tail of the field, on the outside of the 40 car, I don't know who that is. Green flags out, and we are underway for the first stage of the Power Shares 300 at Daytona International Speedway. So the first stage is going to be three laps. I'm going to get to the inside. I don't want to be on the outside at the start. I don't know if the uh, Super Speed Race is going to be as hard as it was when we went to Talladega in the Truck Series, but I'm going to try to move as fast as possible. Got the inside. These guys on the inside are slowing down a bunch, so I'm going to go to the outside. Hopefully I can carry my momentum there. Turn the mirror on. I can't believe I didn't have it on. Okay. Now I think both lanes are slowing down a bit. I'm just trying to move. I mean, it's gotten more difficult, the uh, super speed racing, but I can't exactly say that it has improved with the, uh, the way you can't really move about in the lanes and everything. Maybe that was just me not remembering super speed racing correctly whenever I started out my championship season with um, Mike Snyder in the truck series. Okay, I'm going to make it 3 wide. There's somebody up on the outside, too. But neither of the lanes are going anywhere. Okay, I just hit Dylan Lupton, and I'm trying to make some room here. I ain't got anywhere to go. He's hit me all over the freaking place. Golly, man. There's just nowhere to go. I have to move. I have to race. I've got to do things, and there's there's nothing to do. Uh, it's not like it used to be in the Super Speed Racing, where you can make moves and go places. I mean, you can't really do that. I guess hit strategies and have to do that thing for me again. I've still got the draft, so i just got to catch back up. Maybe I should just stop trying to run the outside lane period and start getting underneath people and making passes on the inside. Because I have no clue what I'm doing right now, because it's that that wasn't working at all. They're on the inside, so I can't go to the inside. I can't go to the inside if there's a car in the way, you know. 
Okay, we'll push Dylan Lupton now. Outside or inside, as long as I'm in front of somebody as important as it is whenever we come to the end of the stage. So I know that much. Okay, I'm going to make it three wide right here. Get past both of them at the same time. Okay, now they're going to leave me a hole and go through. This is ridiculous. Well, I am making this work. I am actually making this move work. Holy crap. Uh, if I had lost so much ground whenever I got stuck on the outside of dealing with love to try to make three wide like a moron, then we could possibly be even higher up than this. Oh, going to go to the outside here. I don't think we're going to clear them. Yeah, the stage is going to end before we can get the line anyway. So we got 34th. Uh, I'm pretty sure it could have been worse than that, you know. Could have gotten left right out of the draft of being stupid, but I wasn't too stupid. Hit Dylan Lupton like four times going to turn one. So pit stops are not happening after stage one. I'm guessing that um, after stage two, whenever we take pit stops, it's just going to send me back in the last place again. That's very predictable. Or I could just not take tires and that could work. I don't think they are going to take tires. Why would they take tires? I'm not going to take tires. We're going to pit under the caution after stage two. And hopefully... I don't take tires and we get fuel and that's not what the AI do. Hopefully the AI get tires because they're stupid. Of course, I don't know if some of our games is programmed them like that. Uh, you know, it takes a while to get tires, right? Once again, there's nowhere to go. Neither of the lanes are going and there's isn't much of a hole. Trying to go. Inside lane is slowing down. Outside lane is really going now. For this momentum can keep on going long enough for me to actually keep these positions that I'm making up at the moment. Can we get out of that? Ah, Cole Custer stopped bouncing off of me. Dude, he's got the faster run right here. I can't tell this guy on the inside of me. I'm trying to watch it. Uh, lanes are shifting about. Just trying to keep it under control. Making moves, gotta make moves. Hitting guy with last name that I can't pronounce. Holy shit. Last name I can't pronounce. I'll just call you last name that I can't pronounce for the rest of the season. Okay, I'm not trying to make a hole right here, but I did because I was trying to pay attention to what Brown was doing. Well, I'm not in the middle anymore. Wow, I lost some speed right there. I don't know how that happened. Like, I'm just kind of watching the way my car moves about as we head down the back stretch. I can't get to the inside. He's not letting the hole unfold in front of me. Oh, well. We're moving a little bit, but we're quickly running out of time. And we, we're getting somewhere. Oh, man, here we come. Here we come. Ah, there's nowhere to go right here. Damn it. There's nowhere to go. I just bounce off everybody. And I'm in the infield. I'm turning left, but nothing is happening. Okay, we're back on the track. Well, that race is over. Now I gotta go take pit stops. The stage is ending in their pitting. They can't do that. They get black flag. That's what I've heard. William Byron won the stage, and I guess he won the first one. Ah, uh, we're gonna finish. For, we're gonna finish horrible in this first race of the season if they did not take tires under this pit stop. Something tells me that Seven Four Games programmed them to not take tires, but I'm not taking tires. Get two cans of fuel. And I'm still in 39. So yeah, they, they didn't get tires either. Either that or my fuel took forever to put in the car. Which is kind of unlikely. It takes quite a bit longer to change the tires than, you know, just putting a couple cans of fuel in the car. I don't even know if I needed two cans of fuel. But we've got quite a few laps. We've got seven laps to make our way through the field as much as possible. And I'm on the inside. I haven't exactly tried to make the inside line work, but that's because it's never worked. We have the whole inside line slowing down going through turns one and two every single time from what I've seen. Let me guess, it's going to happen again. Maybe. Yep, there, there it goes. The inside line just dies. And now the outside line is holding me back. There's, I just can't do anything in this situation. I have a goal of just going somewhere. I have to go. That's what I'm supposed to do. If it means moving all over the damn place, then so be it. And they're not doing that because apparently AI are programmed to not try anything that would actually help them succeed. I'm not getting any runs right now. 
stupid freaking 24 cars shifting me back and forth. I don't know what Daniel Hemrick is doing. I think that's what his name is. So this guy up there is stuck on the outside. I can't outwork the outside right now. I just can't do it. I don't have any momentum for some reason. I can't get it going. Okay, let's get out from behind Yelly. No, don't do that, car. Son of a bitch. You better stop that. All I try to do is go into that gap because he let it wide open for me. And I go in there and then he start bouncing off of everything. It's freaking annoying. I wish you could just not bounce off of this crap. This is more challenging than this online nonsense where all you gotta do is drive in a straight line and make it single file stupidity. Where nobody can try anything without screwing up. But, um... And here, the only thing that hurts to try is um, making it three wide going through the middle without bumping into somebody when the gap ain't big yet. And we're running out of time quickly. Okay, there's not much room. This is not Talladega, so there is not room. There's, no one's... Everybody's stopping. Um, why? What the hell just happened? And now I have nowhere to go. I still have nowhere to go. There, I, man, come on. What the hell, game? What the hell are you doing? Oh, Elliot Sadler's having engine problems. Well, way to go, um, making everybody else's day worse. So I guess the race is over now. Am I going to finish in 32nd in the first race of the season? Um, okay. They'll just fly right past me on the outside because that's how slow my car is for unapparent reasons. I would like to finish 32nd. But I guess my car isn't fast enough for that. The car isn't fast enough at a track where I have to hold down the right trigger for the entire time, and that's all I have to do. So Ray Black Jr. got past me, and now I'm struggling to get back past him. That's, um, well, it's a intense battle for 32nd place. Elliot Tower, you stupid fucking piece of shit. Why you gotta do this to my race, man? Why you gotta do this to everybody's race? Yeah, I was working my way through the field, and then he started existing in bad ways. Trying to get a run on Ray Black Jr. I can't. My car, it, it won't stop slowing down whenever I try to get underneath it. It won't, it won't happen. I'm trying to make it happen. Also, whenever I pull underneath him, I'm pretty sure it's going to, it's not going to let me do anything, though. I'm trying. Here we go. Got the run. And he is slowing down. I can see that he is just letting off the gas right now. That was um, odd. Well, it's the last lap of the race. And all these people gaining on me. Same people up there in front of me. Same distance away, apparently. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me that the first race of the season sucks really, really freaking bad. Because that always ruins the chance of anybody coming back to this LP to actually see what happens. Because, yeah, it's Daytona, it's Super Speedway, the racing is um, not expected to be anything successful for me. Last time winning the truck series, that was a freaking miracle because everybody slowed down as soon as the restart came and I got out from behind it. Um, similar thing happened in this race, except I got out from behind it and then I was on the inside and I couldn't avoid that crap. 30 second. First race of the season. Super Speedway racing in this game is hard. But I, I didn't finish badly because this race was hard. I think I mostly just finished badly because they didn't take tires in their pit stops. Elliott Sadler brake checked the whole freaking field with his apparent engine problems going into turn three or whatever that was. I started in the back stretch, and I couldn't avoid it. And if I could have just driven off the freaking track, that would have worked. But I was about to go into the corner, so I didn't drive off the track. I don't know what I could have done. I never know what I could have done. I, there are some situations where I could have made it more spots if I hadn't, you know, started bouncing off people in freaking three wide situations. Harrison Rhodes won the race. Jeff Green finished in second. That's kind of an odd race result, but I mean, I guess Kamikaze Games is satisfied if he ever watches this video. Justin Allgaier finished in 31st and won a stage in there. William Byron finished in sixth. Apparently, Casey Kane um, quit out in the race with still 12 races to go. And then we had Elliot Sadler who had the freaking engine problems and decided to brake check the whole freaking field that ruined everything that this race could have been. 
I mean, it was bad enough that I kept on making it three wide because I gotta go and it's a freaking video game and I'm starting at the back of the field because qualifying doesn't work, but yeah. I have five points right now. Uh, and I'm not even above the cut line so I can make the playoffs. That That's that's not going to take too long to fix, but I've got a lot of consistency to deal with to make up for that. Of course, it's a super speedway, so I suppose there's a bunch of drivers that didn't fish, finish where they're usually going to finish. I said fish. I like fish, but I didn't mean to say fish. I had the fastest lap with a 48.01. That sounds kind of stupid. William Byron led the most laps, leading eight laps. Um, Cole Custer started 30th and finished in 5th, so he was really on the move in that race. I wish I could have done that. And Elliot Sadler started in 1st and finished in 39th. That's kind of stupid. Why you got to do this to us, man? I'll see you guys next weekend for the Rinai 250 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I think that's how you pronounce that word. Rinai? I don't even know what that is. And then after that, we are going to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Boyd Gaming 300. These are two races that I feel like are going to come out way better than the Truck Series race that we just did, in which we lost the freaking championship. And then, of course, this race, where Elliott Sadler was the main reason why we didn't finish well. I mean, I, I probably could have finished in, like, the top 20 if that hadn't happened, because we had the time. Of course, for all we know, I probably would have just started bouncing back and forth between a couple cars, and, you know, that happened, like, what, twice during the race? And one time, I almost caused a huge wreck. And that, well, if that happened in the last stage, then that would have really sucked because then I would have finished last. Well, see you next time. That's that. And horrible first episode of the Xfinity series. Over.